the these terms are belong to these taxonomies. Then your term taxonomy go table links up to your um, or, oh, I get this all the terms and, and then in your term relationships relationships table it then says these terms belong to these posts. If you've turned on tagging categories or created a custom taxonomy for a post, you know, for pages, these belong to this page. If you're using a custom constant <coughs> type, these this Ford Mustang article has this Ford <coughs> Mustang um, tag. Don't know where that came from. <laughs> Just like, I don't know. Ford Mustangs are great. <laughs> okay, so here's your built-in taxonomies. This is what comes pre-installed in WordPress. And again, this is the same thing with Joomla. Uh, Drupal, Expression Engine, other content management systems, they don't come with these. You have to create them. You have to create your own way of handling them. Um, but these come with built-in taxonomies, which are only by default used for posts, your categories, and your tags. And then, of course, um, links, which are strangely not a post type. They, they do have their own table. Um, links have categories. Um, and then, uh, of course, the nav menu items have uh, See, I think, let's see if I can get this right. Nav menu says, so if you create a menu called main menu, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that that's the taxonomy or the term. I don't know. I'm, 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 that's new to me. I, I was just now exploring how the, the menu system works. But anyways, that is a built-in taxonomy. So what are some custom taxonomies you might build? Employee departments, you know, you want to categorize your employees in certain ways, by like what department they work in, um, or some other thing, the product categories, whether your product is a book or a t-shirt. Um, and then any, just any way you want to categorize or tag your custom post types. So you can see, on, I don't know if you can see it real well in my image, um, this is a screenshot of where I had created a custom post type called Articles for a, um, a website called Flower Mag. And um, basically, they're a magazine, and they wanted to. They publish uh, um, quarterly. They publish um, snippets and teasers from their printed magazine. And so they wanted to have the blogging functionality, and so separate, obviously, from their articles. So we created a custom post type called articles. And then each article was in a section, which is a magazine section. It was in a season, um, and then I, I used a, t like a tagging type taxonomy for authors and photographers um, to make it easier for them to add those. And reuse them. Um, uh, so that's just that's an example of a good live example. Um, these can be used. You can also create custom taxonomies to, to use on your posts. So if you wanted another taxonomy that to, um, for some reason besides categories and tags on your post, then you can assign. You can create. You can register a new taxonomy to be able to use there. Um, uh, Oh, the, there's one little bug that, about custom taxonomies right now, and that is that when you're creating a custom query to get um, posts from a certain taxonomy, you can't or certain with a certain term, you can't say get. Uh, say you have a taxonomy called um, say you have a taxonomy called authors and photographers, and you wanted to get all posts that were by this author and were, photos were shot by this photographer. You can't do that. That's that's and that's a serious bug because when, uh, it's funny because whenever I get this presentation in Birmingham, Andrew Nason was in the room and I was like, and I didn't at that point I was like, you know maybe these guys are smarter than me and they shouldn't and it shouldn't be that way but I feel like it's a bug and he kind of like it's it's a bug yeah, we're fixing it <laughs> and it turns out they are fixing it in WordPress 3.1. If you want to do that now, you need to um, use the query multiple query multiple taxonomies plugin. Um, for instance, on this Flower Mag blog, I needed to be able to get posts that were in this section and in this season. And I had really had to hack up my code because, you know, silly me, I didn't search for a plugin. <laughs> I did, so I just I kind of hacked up my, the way my query was done to first get the, se the sections and then, you know, strip out only the season I wanted. So. Okay. The, the, what time? I don't have a clock in Oh, okay, cool. Not so, not so bad. So how do we create these, these suckers now that we know they are? So the hard way is to hand code it. Um, and this is yet another thing that's different um, from other content management systems. They don't hand, you don't hand code things. You don't 
play and program them most of the time. Maybe you can, I don't know how, like, I don't have that much experience with them. And with WordPress, you can. You can hand register them in a functions file or through a plugin. Um, and this is basically, there's, I mean, this, this is just a fraction of the options you can. There are tons. You can relabel everything, even down to the point where it says, um, if you want to click on edit items and you can create a custom post type called movies, you can change it to edit movies. I mean, you can really customize it to every last little thing. It's also cool because you can, um, you can, this also means that you can change the way um, the default post types are uh, labeled as well. Um, so this, so you're going to create your uh, post type called um, movies and it's going to be a pu something public that shows up in the public timeline. You do want to have the UI which is basically where you add them and edit them. Um, so that you create them. The reason, a, a reason why you might not want to show the UI is, for instance, if you're using a custom post type within a plugin, and the plugin had its own UI to handle the content, you don't need to have, you know, an add new item, whatever the item is. And then what it supports does it support comments? Can you post thumbnails with it? But those are completely unnecessary for some some um, purposes. If you're like again, when you're creating a plugin that uses post types, um, and then obviously you, you want to tell um, the post type which taxonomies to use. If you want to ta tag them or categorize them at all, you can also, you can use the same blog categories, the same um, blog tags if you want to. And, um, and later in another slide we're going to create, we're going to register our own custom taxonomy. So this is just real basic. And then I don't know if you can see this very well, but it's bit.ly slash post types is the article that I pulled this code from thanks to Frank don't know how to say his last name, <laughs> from wpengineer.org. Um, and then here's some of your default arguments. Um, the label, publicly queryable, exclude from search, built in, um, hierarchical, rewrite, supports, you know, what's, what kind of things it supports, like the post thumbnails, etc. cetera. Um, show you, show you UI. Um, and again, this is all from his his post, which was, which was really helpful for me when I was first learning about them. Um, so that now, you, now that you've created a um, post type movie, this is, and this is all in the same code where I've got the, the ellipse at the top, is, is basically all the code from our previous, where, we're, where we registered the post type. Now we're going to register our taxonomies so that we can add um, the taxonomies, our custom taxonomies. So we're creating a text, a, a um, post type called movies and so we want to categorize and organize these by actor and by director. Um, you can see how the uh, actor is, is the hi hierarchical, I love that word, it's so fun to say, not, it's true, which is basically, this means like categories, you can have child categories, this, this taxonomy is going to behave just like a blog category. The next one is false, it's going to behave like a tag. So your interface that you're, where you're going to edit these is going to behave the same way. It's going to look the same way. It's going to be treated the same way. And that's that's basically what that means. Um, and then, yeah, you add that to your post type. The easy way. Now, in Birmingham, I had the pleasure of staying up um, one late one night uh, in the hotel lobby with Andrew Nason, hashing out whether we should be using plugins or hand coding um, post types and taxonomies. He's of the persuasion that everything should be hand coded. I believe in hand coding because if you're going to use, um, if you're going to like be distributing a theme that's going to use a custom post type, or you're distributing a plugin that you, needs to use them, that's definitely, it's obviously the way you want to go because you don't want to have to give instructions on how to install this plugin and how to install. You want all everything pre-programmed. So if you like to, but if you're just building a custom site for a client or for yourself using a post type, then I think using a plugin is fine because that's pretty much going to be unique to that site anyways, which is exactly how Expression Engine, Drupal, and the other CMSs work. You don't, um, you don't program them. You don't, you know, you, you actually go through this user interface, and some of them are really painful. The Expression Engine is really, there's too many clicks. Um, but to, to create these custom post, the, you know, custom content types and taxonomies. So this was something that was said, and this has been said a lot, and that's WordPress is the iPhone of the internet. You'll always hear that there's a plugin for that. There's an app for that. There's a plugin for that. 
that is my it's my favorite thing. I, was, I used to teach WordPress classes, and I'd get all these questions. Well, can I do this? And can I do that? And my answer always started with, well, there's a plugin for that, because yeah, and I mean, it, it can. It, um, if you come to my next session, we're going to learn about how WordPress can do anything. So uh, that's a, that'll be a fun slide. But um, the, yeah, WordPress can do it. There's probably already a plugin for that, and it's true for custom post types and taxonomies. Now, one of the first ones that come out was custom post type UI by Brad Williams, and it's a great one. Um, that's the one I used at first. It actually has an interface for creating post types and taxonomies all in one, which is one of the reasons why I don't use it now. Um, and I'll explain later. Um, there's tons of labeling options. Those are, that's some kind of a, a pro to using it. Um, great, great plugin. It's not buggy at all. WP Post Type UI was, UI was kind of um, somebody stole Brad Williams' idea and said, I'm going to create my own version of it. And uh, they did an okay job. I think it's kind of buggy. The last time I used it, it was really buggy. It, just, it wasn't work, working right. It does create both post types and taxonomies. Um, and it does a, a, there's something it has that the last the latest version of custom post type UI that I use I don't know if it's been updated since it doesn't let you allow uh, allow you for a custom icon so if, say for instance you were going to use you're going to create um, a custom <coughs> post type called uh, well say for instance you did want to have a video section that was separate from your blog session so you created a video post type you might want to put a, like a little camcorder type icon to make it easier to easily reference you know knowing that you're clicking on the right thing. Otherwise, it's be, by default, it's going to use a little thumb, thumb tack or a push pin. Oh, I'm not ready to click yet. My favorite is more types and more taxonomies. And the reason is that they're just, I really love the interface. That it's really easy to use and nice. Um, they, uh, they all, it also gives you tools right there to just click and say, I really hate the way the post um, is labeled for this blog, this site. I'm going to relabel everything. And you can edit, you can actually edit the posts and pages, post types, and the categories and the, tax, the tags with these plugins that are built in with WordPress. You don't have to deregister anything and rehack it. You can just use these plugins to do it if you want to do that for some reason. Um, it does also allow for a custom icon, and it works seamlessly with the, with the more fields plugin, which we're going to get to here in a minute. So I really, I really do enjoy these plugins the most when I'm going to create when I'm creating custom content types for you know that are unique to a blog. So here's some plugins that you might need for manipulating them. Um, the custom post type order is basically kind of like my page order where it lets you if you've created a custom post type and you want them to be queried in a certain order, you just want to drag and drop type of functionality. Um, instead of being queried according to you know alphabetically or by ID um, or your other options there. You can say, I want them to be in a specific order, and that's how they'll be queried. That's what it lets you do that. Uh, there's simple custom post type archives. Is, I, if, it's completely essential. Do you really, if, I mean, if you're going to do anything complex with post types and taxonomies, you really want this plugin. It's great because it's um, going to uh, add support. Um, yeah, for your permalinks, it's going to be able to create, going to create your custom post type feed. So if you want a feed of your video post type or whatever post type you're creating, that's important. I think I feel like um, it gives you a lot of nice functions and template functionality to use. Um, well, there's a in a second we'll figure out another reason why you want to use it, and I'll talk more about it. Um, and then of course, post type switcher is it'll go right into your top published box um, where you edit the date, the publish date. And then you just click on it and say, I want to change the post type. And, you know, for some reason, let's say you're going to go and say, oh, Tammy Hart taught me I need to be using post types for this content on my website. But I've already got it all, you know, you know, put inserted into my database. And I don't know a thing about going to MySQL and changing what post types they are. And this is going to let you just kind of use a drop-down box and say, I've created my post, my post type now. I want this post to be a um, dog post in, instead, or whatever, you know, whatever post type you've created, uh, a movie or whatever. Um, and then, of course, you can, can the, the uh, blog, the plugin convert post types will let you bulk edit. So from the front end, you can select a bunch, or from your, in the, ad, I mean, sorry, in the admin, you, whenever you're looking at a list of your posts, um, you can just check a bunch of them, bulk edit, and change what post type they are. So a couple tools there. Um, so now that you've got all of your content,